When I first got into this play, you know, AMC, I remember watching a lot of videos about Ken Griffin and, you know, how he talked about this is a very, very um, important tactic that he uses, psychological tactics to win. And, you know, he makes you feel like, you know, you got no chance to beat him. He, he used a great analogy. Uh, this reporter asked him a question. If there was uh, just whatever, a grandmother that wanted to invest in the stock market, does she have a chance to win? And he said, well, it depends on who's her opponent. He's like, if I was playing golf against Tiger Woods, I would lose, right? Okay. So he made a very strong analogy. He can't lose. And at first, I really didn't understand it. I was just thinking he was very cocky, he was a piece of garbage. You know. Now I understand what he meant. He has enough money, enough connections, <laughs> and um, enough people that are very powerful in his corner to make a lot of retail investors give up. Now I'm not saying we're all gonna give up, because there are plenty of retail investors out there with diamond bolts of steel and diamond hands for the ladies, okay? But a lot of retail investors, a lot of AMC apes, they jump and ship. They're looking for these quick money uh, IPOs and momentum plays. And they, you know, look at AMC like a piece of trash, like a piece of shit. That's what they look at AMC as. And it's the genius, Ken Griffin. I, I hate that guy. You have no idea how much I hate him. But you gotta, in a way, respect him because, he, see, what it is with Ken Griffin, he puts so much pressure on himself. You have no idea. You see, none of you know. He, he has so many synthetics that he's using, they'll put Citadel in bankruptcy. It'll put Citadel in bankruptcy if there ever was a force margin call and these shorts had to be closed. It would put them in bankruptcy. Literally, the DTCC would have to step in. It would be mind. It would be mind blowing what would happen. But he knows that day most likely won't come because of the psychological warfare. You know, what do you think? He's not behind a lot of these these plays, these momentum plays. If you do your DD you'll see Citadel's involved in everything. And they're doing it because they want the apes out of AMC. And ultimately, the synthetics are like Peter Pan. You know Peter Pan? It's all fugazi. It's imaginary, like the fairies flying in the air. It's like that's what these synthetics are. No one could prove they exist. And um, it's just gotten to a point where He's avoiding a margin call. He's got the money, he's got the collateral. And he's just hoping. AMC is gonna go bankrupt, that's it. That's what he wants. And what scares the ape father is that there's a lot of fools in this play. Now again, I just wanna be, I wanna reiterate to you. Not everybody has what it takes to be a multimillionaire. Will there be multi, multi-millionaires from AMC? Absolutely. Will there be kings and queens of the jungle from this play? Absolutely. Will there be a lot of people who are going to regret selling AMC because they're dipshit chumps? <laughs> Absolutely. But you know what they say, listen. If the queen had bulls, she'd be the king, right? That's just the way it goes. Not everybody can be a king. All right, so you leave AMC and you leave the real Moaz for the kings who have a pair of bowls, a pair of hairy, gigantic bowls, not tiny raisin bowls like Teddy Z. Okay, I'm not a financial planner. I don't give financial advice. I'm an entertainer. Amy is hot, baby. AMC to Pluto. Wow!